EEOC has its own set of administrative judges that adjudicate uh, cases, discrimination and retaliation cases for federal employees uh, in Washington, D.C. Now, of course, the EEOC is all over the United States, but a big hub of what the EEOC does is right here in Washington, D.C. And our firm has been in front of this body for a number of years. And it's interesting because of all the podcasts we do and the advice that we give, there's actually another angle to this, and that is knowing individual judges at the EEOC and how a particular judge administers a particular discrimination or retaliation case. And uh, I've had the opportunity to evaluate some opinions um, that I've gotten not just from myself but from other attorneys. And there is an administrative judge that I want to talk about. His name is Kurt Hodges. He is in Washington, D.C. He is an EEOC judge. And I can tell you that one thing we have the inside track on, having been before Kurt Hodges a number of times, um, is that he has a particular methodology that he employs. Um, There's a certain way that he conducts hearings. Uh, There's a certain way that he likes closing arguments, a trial. And it's a style that's unique to him. In fact, I, I, I say that because I've done so many of these hearings with um, so many different judges. Uh, but he has his own unique style of closing argument. Uh, I can also tell you things about sanctions against agencies, uh, how often he gives them, what he does with them, does he ultimately enforce them at trial, and how he generally litigates these kinds of hearings. And this is a unique opportunity because if you're a federal employee and you have a case right now assigned to Administrative Judge Kurt Hodges, uh, you will want to contact my office um, because we can give you a formula to maximize your time with him um, and a way that um, is going to be very efficient Uh, and is going to save you um, a lot of aggravation and time and be able to litigate your case. So you will look and you'll see on your acknowledgement order when you get it from the EEOC, it will list the name of the administrative judge when I get consults from uh, federal employees in my office uh, from Washington, D.C. or people who have cases in Washington, D.C. Immediately I will ask who the judge is Um, And that is a factor. It's also uh, not listed particularly in detail because there's always new judges and and judges retiring, but uh, it's a factor. If you get my uh, book, it's four or five dollars on which way to go, uh, whether an administrative case or a uh, federal lawsuit in federal court. So it's out there, it's important. Again, if you have this administrative judge, you will want to contact my office and we welcome all calls and inquiries uh, fighting for justice for you.